Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on our channel Immortal News. Today we'll be presenting a list of famous celebrities who have passed away, with announcements of their passing made in the last 24 hours. As always, we have special tributes in our today's top headline section. Before we proceed, we kindly ask for your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Let's begin, thank you. Number 9. Ken Mattingly. A journey beyond the earth and among the stars. Ken Mattingly, the esteemed astronaut who voyaged to the moon with Apollo 16 and played a crucial role in the Apollo 13 crisis, passed away on October 31st at the age of 87. NASA confirmed the sad news, celebrating Mattingly as a pivotal figure in the Apollo program whose vibrant personality would forever be etched in space exploration history. Born on March 17, 1936 in Chicago, Mattingly's stellar career began with his selection by NASA in 1966. His dedication led to 21 days in space and a storied life that intertwined with pivotal moments in human spaceflight. His brush with the German measles famously grounded him from the Apollo 13 mission, a twist of fate that would see him play a vital role in the safe return of his colleagues after an in-flight emergency. Mattingly's contributions went well beyond his lunar orbit in Apollo 16. He commanded two space shuttle missions, including the maiden Department of Defense flight. His legacy is also marked by his post-NASA endeavors, contributing to the aerospace industry and inspiring future generations. An alumnus of Auburn University, Mattingly's academic and military pursuits set the stage for his historic spaceflights. His work earned him the NASA Distinguished Service Medal, the NASA Spaceflight Medal, and an induction into the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame. Ken's personal moments were no less remarkable, such as the serendipitous recovery of his wedding ring in the vacuum of space, a tale as unique as the man himself. The world of space exploration mourns the loss of a true pioneer who reached for the stars and inspired many to do the same. Ken Mattingly leaves behind a legacy of courage, exploration, and dedication that will continue to inspire. Tribute to Ken Mattingly. Number 8. Brenda Snipes, a pillar of public service and voting advocacy in Broward County. Brenda Snipes, the dedicated former supervisor of elections for Broward County, Florida, passed away at the age of 80. Cause of death was not immediately disclosed. Her life's work leaves an indelible mark on the community she served. Appointed in 2003 by Governor Jeb Bush, Snipes faithfully executed her role, winning re-election in 2004, 2008, 2012, and 2016. Her commitment to democracy was evident in her efforts to expand the voting rolls in Broward County, ensuring that the pillars of the electoral process stood strong under her watch. Before her tenure as supervisor, Snipes made significant contributions to education, shaping young minds as a teacher at Blanche Ely High School and as a principal at Robert Markham Elementary School. Her retirement from education in 2003 led her to the next chapter of her civic engagement. A native of Talladega, Alabama, Snipes' journey reflected her passion for community and perseverance. In 2019, she resigned from her position as supervisor, leaving behind a legacy underscored by dignity and a reputation restored. She enjoyed her retirement years in South Florida, surrounded by the love of her two daughters and two grandchildren. As services are pending, her family and community remember Brenda Snipes for her unyielding service her commitment to voters, and her role in bolstering the electoral process. Her story is a testament to the impact one individual can have on the lives of many. Tribute to Brenda Snipes. Number 7. Addie Barkin a beacon of hope and tireless advocate for justice. Eddie Barkin's voice became a rallying cry for change, not just in the halls of power,
but in the hearts of people across the nation and beyond. With immense sadness, we announce that on November 1st, Aedy has departed, after a courageous and public battle with ALS at the age of 39. Born to a lineage of academic excellence, Barkin's fervor for activism sparked early, shaping a path that would see him graduate from Columbia College and earn a JD from Yale Law School. His career was marked by significant triumphs for social justice, including wins for paid sick leave and a $15 minimum wage. As a trailblazer for the Center for Popular Democracy, he led the influential Fed Up campaign, advocating for the economically disenfranchised at the Federal Reserve. Diagnosed with ALS in 2016, Barkin transformed personal adversity into a clarion call for systemic reform. His poignant confrontation with Senator Jeff Flake became a watershed moment, and his Be a Hero campaign a testament to his unwavering spirit. Addy's staunch advocacy reached the United States House Committee on Rules, where he made a historic push for Medicare for All. Recognized by Time as one of the most influential people in the world in 2020, Barkin's intellect and indomitable spirit were instrumental in reshaping public policy discourse. His memoir, Eyes to the Wind, continues to inspire resilience and action. Beyond his public persona, Barkin was a beloved husband to Rachel King, and a devoted father to their two children. His life, though cut tragically short, was marked by an outsized impact, leaving behind a legacy that will continue to animate the fight for a more equitable world. Tribute to Addie Barkin. Number 6. Walter Davis, a distinguished legacy on and off the basketball court. Walter Davis, a name synonymous with the Phoenix Suns and an exemplar of basketball excellence, passed away at the age of 69. Renowned as a six-time NBA All-Star and the NBA Rookie of the Year, in 1978, Davis left a memorable mark on professional basketball, both as a player and later as a mentor and scout. Davis's exceptional talent was clear from his high school days, leading South Mecklenburg High School to three state titles. His prowess continued at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, earning him the moniker Sweet D for his smooth and effortless style, as well as a gold medal at the 1976 Summer Olympics. Selected fifth in the 1977 NBA draft by the Suns, Davis instantly stood out, securing a record in 1983 for scoring 34 points before missing a shot. With an 18.9 point game average over his career and as the Suns' all-time leading scorer, his contributions to the team were honored by retiring his number six jersey and including him in the Suns' ring of honor. Despite facing personal challenges and a public drug scandal, Davis's later years were dedicated to contributing to the sport off the court as a broadcaster and scout, and he was pivotal in nurturing new talent, including his nephew UNC head coach Hubert Davis. The legacy of Walter Davis, the Greyhound, stretches beyond his swift style and scoring records. It lies in his resilience, his commitment to the game and his influence on generations of players. The basketball community mourns the loss of a player who is not only a figure of athletic prowess, but also a symbol of redemption and perseverance. Tribute to Walter Davis. Number 5. Peter S. Fisher, Mastermind of Mystery and Television Peter S. Fisher, the visionary co-creator of the iconic series Murder, She Wrote, an esteemed writer for Columbo, passed away at the age of 88. He died on October 30th in a care facility in Pacific Grove, California, leaving behind a legacy marked by intrigue and the artful crafting of mystery narratives. Though the cause of death was not disclosed, Fisher's achievements in television and literature are indelible. Starting his career later in life, Fisher proved that talent and creativity know no age. He distinguished himself with an Edgar Award and three Emmy nominations for Outstanding Drama Series 
during his seven-season stint with Murder, She Wrote, a show that redefined the mystery genre with Angela Lansbury's portrayal of Jessica Fletcher. Though the series never clinched an Emmy, Fisher's storytelling left an unmistakable mark on the television landscape. Fisher's transition from TV to literature saw him authoring a series of murder mysteries that extended his narrative prowess beyond the screen. His books often featured cameos from Hollywood legends, weaving them into the fabric of his intricate plots without casting them as culprits or victims, maintaining a respect for their personas while enhancing the storytelling experience. His passing leaves a void in the realm of mystery and drama, but his contributions will continue to captivate audiences, reflecting his profound understanding of suspense and the human condition. Tribute to Peter S. Fisher. Number 4. Zanelli Situ, trailblazer in Paralympic athletics and symbol of perseverance. Zanelli Situ, a luminary in Paralympic sport and an embodiment of determination, passed away at the age of 52. Born on January 19, 1971, in Kokstad, South Africa, Situ overcame incredible adversity after paralysis from a tuberculosis infection confined her to a wheelchair at the tender age of 12. Her athletic prowess became evident at the 1998 IPC Athletics World Championships in Birmingham, where she clinched gold in the javelin. Situ's groundbreaking journey continued at the Sydney 2000 Paralympics, where she became the first black South African woman to win a Paralympic gold, a monumental achievement that inspired countless athletes across the globe. Situ defended her world title in Lille and continued to dominate the javelin throw, solidifying her status as an elite Paralympian. Her contributions to sport were honored in 2003 when South Africa awarded her the Order of Ikamanga. The Athens 2004 Paralympics saw her defend her javelin title once more, and she was also honored with the Wang Yun Dai Achievement Award, highlighting her embodiment of the Paralympic spirit. Despite facing fierce competition and experiencing a competitive dry spell, Situ's relentless spirit never wavered. She secured a world bronze in 2011, followed by two more in 2013 and 2015. Her dedication bore fruit at the Rio 2016 Paralympics, where she achieved a personal best and was bestowed the honor of flag bearer for South Africa. Zanele Situ's name will forever echo in the halls of athletic greatness. She was not just a Paralympian, she was a beacon of hope and a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Her legacy transcends her medals and accolades lying instead in the hearts she touched and the barriers she broke. Tribute to Zanelli Situ. Number 3. Betty Price, pillar of cultural enrichment and artistic vision in Oklahoma. Betty Price, a fervent advocate for the arts and a beacon of cultural leadership in Oklahoma, passed away on November 1st at the age of 91. Born in Boonville, Arkansas in 1931, Price's dedication to the arts was evident from her early piano lessons to her influential tenure as the executive director of the Oklahoma Arts Council from 1983 until her retirement in 2007. Under her guidance, Price worked alongside eight Oklahoma governors, vastly expanding the reach and impact of the Arts Council. Her contributions were widely recognized, leading to her induction into the Oklahoma Women's Hall of Fame in 1985, among other numerous accolades. Price's legacy is particularly visible within the Oklahoma State Capitol, where she was instrumental in commissioning significant works such as Mike Larson's Flight of the Spirit mural. Her efforts in establishing the Capital Preservation Commission and expanding the presence of the visual arts within the state's legislative halls have left an indelible mark on Oklahoma's cultural landscape. Beyond her professional achievements, Price's personal life was rich with the melodies of family and the harmonies of marriage to her husband, Norris Allen Price, until his passing in December 2019. Together they nurtured a family and a shared commitment to the community, 
The State Art Collection Gallery, named the Betty Price Gallery in her honor, remains a testament to her passion for the arts and her unwavering commitment to elevating Oklahoma's artistic heritage. Betty Price's vision and dedication continue to inspire, echoing through the corridors of the Capitol and the hearts of those she touched. Tribute to Betty Price. Number 2. Yuta Muller, a pioneering spirit in the figure skating world. Yuta Muller, an icon in the realm of figure skating, passed away in Bernau Bay, Berlin on November 2nd, at the venerable age of 94. Born Yuta Lotsch, her early achievements included the 1949 East German Championships in pair skating and a ladies' singles bronze medal at the East German Nationals in 1953. Her influence, however, was most profoundly felt as a coach. Muller shaped the careers of numerous skating legends, including her daughter Gabriele Seifert, a two-time world champion. Her legacy is cemented by the Olympic and World Championship victories of her protégés, among them the celebrated Katarina Witt. Muller's exceptional coaching skills earned her a place in the World Figure Skating Hall of Fame in 2004, a testament to her impact on the sport. Muller's personal life was as dynamic as her career. The daughter of a wrestling champion and herself twice married, she found love with East German football player Bringfried Muller after her first marriage ended. Jutta Muller's death marks the end of an era. Her pioneering contributions to figure skating leave behind a legacy of excellence and inspiration, having raised champions and reshaped the sport she loved so dearly. Her name remains synonymous with figure skating excellence and innovation cherished by all who had the privilege of witnessing her genius. Tribute to Jutta Muller. Today's top headlines, News One. In a devastating blow to the world of Brazilian football, Sao Bernardo FC forward. Felipe Diogo, only 21, was tragically killed in a street shooting in his native town of Ribeirao Preto, near Sao Paulo. Struck by a hail of bullets fired by unidentified assailants, Diogo's life was cut dramatically short despite urgent medical attention. Before this tragic event, Diogo's career was on the ascent after notable performances with Botafogo and Cruzeiro's youth teams culminating in his successful senior debut with Sao Bernardo last season. His prowess on the field had shown brightly during his team's rise to Serie C, and his potential seemed boundless. As the community reels from the shock, the local police force is diligently investigating to uncover the circumstances behind the shooting, with the assailant's motive still cloaked in mystery. Sao Bernardo FC has expressed profound sorrow over the loss of Diogo, extending their deepest sympathies to his grieving family and friends. In a heartfelt tribute, the club stated, May God comfort the hearts of his family in this moment of profound grief. The football world mourns alongside them, remembering a life and talent lost far too soon. News 2. An explosion ripped through the heart of the village of Wappingers Falls on November 2nd, sending shockwaves felt for miles and leaving a home on Mill Street consumed by an inferno. As the clock struck noon, Residents were startled by the powerful blast that heralded the disaster. Emergency services raced to the scene, with fire engines converging on the village from surrounding areas. Mill Street, now the epicenter of the crisis, was quickly converted into a makeshift triage center where valiant volunteer firefighters were treated for severe burns and smoke inhalation. Among them, two stood out for their bravery choosing to defer medical attention for themselves so others could receive care. Witnesses at the scene recounted the harrowing sight of first responders battling the blaze and alluded to a possible gas explosion. Although this has not been officially confirmed by Central Hudson, the local gas company, which was promptly at the scene. The fire raged past 1 p.m., with firefighters making a concerted effort to douse the flames. The affected structure, part of a historic row on Brick Row Alley near the scenic Wappingers Lake, was reportedly undergoing renovations 
and is now largely reduced to rubble. The incident has drawn community members to West Main Street, where they watch in distress as smoke billows above the lake, a stark reminder of the day's tragic events and the indomitable spirit of the first responders still fighting to regain control. Music icon Celine Dion stepped into the spotlight once again, making a heartfelt public appearance for the first time in almost four years. Spotted by People magazine, the star who has been battling the rare and challenging stiff person syndrome shined with resilience. Earlier in the year, Dion faced the difficult decision to cancel her much-anticipated 2023 and 2024 Courage World Tour dates due to the severe muscle spasms caused by her condition. Yet her unwavering spirit was evident as she was seen enjoying an NHL hockey game on Monday night. Cheering on the action between the Vegas Golden Knights and her home team, the Montreal Canadiens, Dion later shared a joyous moment with the team. Her social media lit up with images from the locker room, celebrating the occasion with her sons and the players, encapsulating the evening as unforgettable. The Montreal Canadiens reciprocated the affection, with their Vice President of Communications posting on Instagram, expressing the team's delight in meeting Dion and her family. Despite the rarity of stiff person syndrome, affecting only about one in a million people, Dion's presence at the game was a powerful statement of her ongoing journey to recovery and her enduring love for life and music. Emmy award-winning actress Julia Louis-Dreyfus, known for her iconic roles in Seinfeld and Veep, has opened up about her journey six years after a breast cancer diagnosis that once threatened to overshadow her career triumphs. Louis Dreyfus, who boldly announced her condition to the world, with the candor and wit she's celebrated for, is now in remission and sharing her insights with remarkable positivity. In her latest discussion with WSJ Magazine, which honored her as their Entertainment Innovator of the Year, Louis Dreyfus reflected on the surreal experience, likening it to a horrible black comedy that took an emotional turn into reality. She admits that the disease, once an abstract fear, became a profound personal awakening. Now at 62, with the illness in her rearview mirror, Louis Dreyfus approaches life with renewed intention. She has adopted a more mindful existence, with a laser focus that not only celebrates each day, but also looks to the future with optimism. Fans and supporters are abuzz with the prospect of her energy and attention contributing to the much-whispered-about Seinfeld reunion. But for now, the star's health update is a beacon of hope proving that with resilience, the script of life can indeed take a turn for the better. Number 1. John Havers, the Grand Master of English Badminton With deep sorrow, the world of badminton bids farewell to John Havers, a luminary who has left us at the venerable age of 92. Renowned for his exemplary service to the sport, both on the court and through his leadership roles, Havers' demise comes after a valiant battle with Alzheimer's disease, surrounded by his loving family. Embarking on his journey in Romford and scaling the ranks from the Barking League to the echelons of English badminton, Havers' talent was evident as he clinched the men's doubles championship at the English Nationals in 1965 with his brother Bill. Amassing seven caps for England, he became a national beacon in the sport, further shining as a runner-up in the Nationals' mixed doubles with Patricia Page. His transition from player to guide was seamless. As a selector, he shaped the trajectory of the national team and managed the 1974 Commonwealth Games team. Ascending to the administrative zenith, he steered Badminton England as deputy chairman in 1966, chairman in 1996, and ultimately president in 2004. Havers' devotion was not limited to England. His influence extended to Badminton Europe and the Badminton World Federation. His passion earned him the BWF's Meritorious Service Award in 2004, followed by the Distinguished Service Award in 2015, encapsulating his indelible impact on the global stage. A cricket and West Ham enthusiast, Havers' heart remained ever loyal to badminton, championing its cause tirelessly. As we celebrate his legacy, our thoughts are with his family and the countless individuals in the badminton community whose lives he touched. Tribute to John Havers.